Hey everyone, Tim Coe here, Method 2 Madness Films. I'm here with our actor for James Gordon, Commissioner James Gordon, Timothy J. Cox. And uh, we're super excited to be talking to him today. We've already done some filming together and it's been a blast. Tim, what are you, uh, what are you up to these days? You know, I am currently in Pennsylvania rehearsing uh, the stage adaptation of Stephen King's Misery. I play the, uh, the author who gets tortured. And so uh, <laughs> we, we open uh, in about eight days and uh, having a ball. Having a oh, ball. wow. So you're in crunch time here. Yeah. But the nice thing is, is that, you know, like, you know, like tomorrow, like Saturday, it's going to be a long day of rehearsals, like putting all of the tech together, the lights, the sound. And uh, it's it's exciting, you know, to put that in with all of the work that, you know, the the director and my my Annie Wilkes have already done. Uh, it's going to yeah. be fun. So uh, what uh, theater troupe are you with there? Uh, I'm working at the Millbrook Playhouse in, uh, in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, which is maybe about an hour away from uh, Penn State. Okay. All right. And when, when's the run time for that? Uh, let's see. It, oh, my God. I just forgot. It opens. Uh, it's a short run. It's going to be uh, August uh, 5th to the uh, – and it closes on the 14th. Okay. Very good. Very good. Well – if you're in the area, guys, go and check him out. He's a fantastic actor, and especially for this role, I, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. I'm stuck here in Chicago, so <laughs> and I've got I've got C2E2 to go to. I loved your work in um, what was it? To be alone. That was fun. <laughs> That um, was, uh, yeah, that's, that was a, that was a great film to, uh, to work on and worked with a great collaborator in Matthew Mailer. We have another film that we did in uh, September uh, oh, fantastic. Pro- that's going to be coming out. Uh, I think they have a few more scenes to uh, film with other actors, but hopefully that'll be uh, in the fall uh, sometime. So great. Yeah, great. Yeah, fun. So let's talk about James Gordon. Yes, <laughs> man, everybody just loved you in the role uh just no. just everybody was just gushing about you all the time guys i can't wait to show you tim's commissioner gordon it's it's so good it's fantastic uh, he, he's already cut his hair now but uh yeah i know <laughs> i had the the hair and the mustache yeah. and uh it was it was fun it, i mean like you know the to kind of jump into a, such an iconic franchise and a great character and with you know the direction that you know you guys took with the script and uh it's just it just we and we just jumped right in and just you know embraced the world and it was it was fun well obviously a character like james gordon you're kind of familiar with him uh before before jumping into it but tell me about uh how familiar were you and what did you do to prepare for the role you know i I mean, of course, I grew up, I mean, I remember very, very clearly when the Tim first Tim Burton Batman came out. I mean, I saw it three times in one day when it came out in 1989. And so, and I had watched, you know, Pat Hingle's uh, performance and even going back to Neil Hamilton's take on the old 1960s TV show and the the cartoons and like, but when I signed on to this, I kind of just had to like, you know, okay, you know, their performances are their performances and just have to focus on uh, the script and you know, the one thing I saw was that reading the this Gordon was that he was exhausted. Mm-hmm. Like this is a this is a, a guy who is he's exhausted, but he's still a dedicated cop. And uh, but uh, yeah, the uh, the crime of Gotham is uh, is wearing on him yeah. as it would anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, guys, to give you just a little more context too, uh, this is. Um, just months after the No Man's Land crisis, which uh, Bat fans will be familiar with when uh, Gotham is sort of separated from the rest of the world, so to speak. And the U.S. says, hey, you know what? You're you're kind of on your own until uh, you sort out the streets and then we'll come and help you. Um, and so James Gordon and Batman and, you know, a troop of true believers are sort of heading up that fight. And uh, so this is supposed to be you know, taking place after that. And James is, he's, he's been, he's been worn down a little bit <laughs> other than like the exhaustedness of the character. How, how did the script come across to you? I think like very, very strong, like just like, uh, like very dramatic. It was a page turner. And that's what you want in a good script. Like, you know, you, you always wonder what's going to happen next. Like, oh, this other character comes up and like, you know, what are their motives? What are they fighting for? What do they want? I mean, it's, you know, 
the essence of uh, of great drama and adventure and suspense and mystery and action and all of that and uh no, it has it has all of that and and more and and it's for all of the fans of you know this world of of Batman and, and Stephanie Brown and Robin and Commissioner Gordon and all of that. It, it there's something for everybody, and that's uh, you know it's uh, can't beat that. So we don't leave James Gordon alone. He's got a no. he's got a a little posse there. Um, yeah, yeah. Tell me about working with uh, the rest of your actors there. Oh my God! You know, working with uh, Carolina Hildebrand, who plays uh, Detective Montoya, and David Berquist, who is uh, Detective Harvey Bullock. Yep. Wonderful. They're wonderful, and we just fell into this this easy, relaxed rhythm. And uh, everybody came in, and the the characters were so clearly defined. And like you know, um, we just had a ball. And uh, you know, clearly, I looked at you know. Carolina as Detective Montoya as like, you know, the young firebrand, you know, like really cares about her job, is very dedicated like Gordon is. And uh, and then you have Harvey over here where who's also dedicated, but he has methods. While he may not agree with his methods, he keeps him around because Harvey is a cop of the streets. And, you know, he he, he gets into like the the maybe the underbelly of uh you know that things in places that gordon or montoya may not be able to get into so he uses both of them uh has both of them as great resources they're both two very good detectives and uh different approaches and they were two marvelous actors uh to work with we just we just had a really really good time there there's a scene um that we shot i i'm just I loved how how the two of them played off of each other there that you yeah. have the one that's fiery right and there's a moment where Bullock just he's like on on autopilot he just goes into into this you know you you see a switch uh yeah. from his you know dry cynical I don't care about anything to I'm a seasoned cop and and it's it's pretty cool so you didn't get to interact too much with our our main star Adriana. We did meet off camera, and uh, no, she was very nice, very lovely. Um, has a delightful spark about her, and in all of the videos and in the uh, the pictures that I've seen, the training videos, I was like, better you than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll I'll be over here just busy being a supporting actor. You get to do all of the, yeah. the physical. Well, and you the fight, went you but... went through some training too. We had we I had, did. I did. Some training I with through, you. <laughs> we did. We went through some very very good important training. You know for uh, you know uh, hand, uh, handguns and uh, and all of that and all of that is very 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 important. Yeah. And uh, but no, Adriana. You know she's uh, she's great and uh, and you know, she she looks fantastic in the part. You got you did get to meet. Um, and work with Kevin. I did. I did get to meet Kevin. He, uh, you know, he's just, uh, he's a presence. And uh, of course, I think he's the funniest Batman I've ever, you know, like, off camera, you know, he's just, <laughs> he really knows how to like, you know, set a nice, relaxed, fun tone instantaneously he just puts you at ease and that's that's uh i mean that's someone he's, he's a veteran he's been doing this for a long long time and uh and it was a real pleasure to, to watch him and be around him our may production was um very condensed uh it was very ambitious we were trying to get a lot done in just a few days and uh and for me anyway the 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 pressure felt high but i felt like the uh the morale and and just Everybody on set was just so encouraging to me, um, and and you know that just I I fed off of that, and and I wanted to give a hundred, two hundred percent more back, um, and uh, but yeah, you and Kevin and everybody brought to set just an overwhelming, uh, joyous and peaceful spirit. Um, I, I I don't know how else to describe it. I I, I was just totally blown away totally blessed with the uh the professionalism but not just the professionalism the uh the enthusiasm from you it's, guys it's good material and you know just really wonderful like great people to work with and and you know in anything i mean you know and what we do um you know everything is all about attitude if you bring positivity to the set and uh into any job or 
that you do, um, you're going to get that back. And everything runs smoothly. It's relaxed because making movies is is hard. It's a lot of, uh, you know, there are some things that happen that are outside of your control that you have to roll with the punches. And, yeah. uh, you know, if, if, if you got to have uh, as positive an attitude as possible because, yeah. uh, you know, it, it only takes one like little, uh, you know, one mood or something like that. And it just it does affect uh yeah. the work yeah and and when that happens sometimes it's hard to recover from um it is yeah yeah uh so any moments on set during shooting anything that um you would like to share with the uh the viewers here something memorable something any surprises or anything like that i'll tell you there was the moment like i guess uh I think we were filming one of our, our first scenes in uh, there's a warehouse and I kind of felt the power of, wow, I'm, I'm playing commissioner Gordon. Like <laughs> I, I get out of the car and I walk in and I get under the police tape and I'm going towards the crime scene. And it was like a little voice in my head. This is cool. This is, this <laughs> yeah, is, this yeah. is really, this is really cool. And that I remember like just, you know, like, wow, you know, like uh, no matter how uh, anything turns out, like you have that moment where it's just like immense pride and joy. And, you know, like uh, that's that's one that, uh, you know, I, I remember very, very clearly. That was a fun shot, too. That was uh, a great, that was I a loved... great, a, a great location. Like yeah, just, uh, yeah, beautiful you, know, you location. want those kinds of, because uh, those are things that those are production designers dreams. Just in general, like the uh, the work ethic of everybody everybody who was there they were there to like you know bring out uh you know put their best foot forward as far as you know the overall project like the passion that was something that i i remember as well i was like wow everybody is really passionate and kind and polite and i i've been doing this for you know 25 plus years and uh it was this was one of the good ones like you know where you know you feel uh you 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 knew that you're in something special well that's fantastic thank you very much um anything else you want our fans to know uh before we wrap up here uh get ready it's gonna be fun i mean uh you know it's it's going to be a blast. Can't I can't wait to come back and and do more and uh, you know grow the hair out and don the mustache and the and the big uh, you know the big uh, raincoat. Uh, yeah, person. yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it it just fit. No, I I I've had a ball and uh, it, when it's all put together, I know the audience uh, you'll enjoy it as uh, as well. That's fantastic, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, do check out our link tree in the description here. We've got places where you can follow us on social media. Give us a like, give us follows, all of that good stuff. Share everything. We're going to need all the uh, the warriors that we can get to, uh, to get this thing off the ground and made in a way that we really, really would like to make it. Um, check out our Ko-fi page as well, uh, where you guys can contribute directly to this project and future projects as well. Um, and also we're going to have some new giveaways and uh, some, some, what do you call it, membership levels. Check that out. Stay tuned. We've got exciting things happening with The Girl in the Mask and Method Madness Films. Thanks again, Tim. We'll see you next time. See you next time.